Oh, so let's try this one. It says convert 5.5 inches to millimeters. So remember, whenever we do these, I have to give you the English to metric or metric to English conversion because there's so many you can't memorize them all. You know. So what we're going to do in this case, since it's an English to metric, we have to give you that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So that's not something that you're expected to memorize. Okay. So let's convert now. So uh, the length that was given was 5.5 inches, right? And it wants us to give it in uh, millimeters. So we've got this conversion factor here, but that's to centimeters, not to millimeters. So we're going to have to figure out the conversion factor from centimeters to millimeters, which is a metric to metric, which you won't be given. So that's something you'll be expected to know, OK? But once you work on it for a second, it's not bad. You just have to remember all the prefixes. Okay, so let's go about doing this. So first thing we've got to do is get rid of those inches, of course. And we've got a way to do that. One inch on the bottom, 2.5 centimeters on the top. That cancels with that, right? But now we need to figure out something that goes from centimeters to millimeters. So the thing is, is I know the conversion factor. Um, one centimeter equals 10 millimeters, okay? So if, you're, if you can't do it that way, if you can't remember centimeters to millimeters, you do remember one meter equals 1,000 millimeters, okay? And you also know one meter equals 100 centimeters, okay? So we'll do this problem again using those conversion factors in the same recording, okay? So uh, when we do that, of course, now let's get out our trusted calculators. 5.5 times 2.54 times 10. Um, I got 139.7 millimeters. But remember, we've got to have the right number of significant figures, okay? So this has two significant figures. So, so why am I using only the 5.5? Because 5.5 is the only number that was given in the problem, okay? If there was another number given in the problem, then you would use that number too. Conversion factors, you don't use their significant figures, okay? So anyways, this has two significant figures, right? That thing has more than two significant figures, so we're going to have to do something to it, okay? So we round, so it's going to be, we can do it a number of ways. Let's just do it this way, 140 millimeters, okay? That's two significant figures. Because that trailing zero is insignificant if there's no decimal point in the answer, okay? Oh, so you can still write the trailing zero and still consider yeah. two significant figures? Yeah, okay. if I did this, that would be three significant figures. Okay. Yeah, because there's now a decimal point in there. Or I could say 1.4 times 10 to the 2, you know, if I wanted to. Okay? Let's do it the other way we were talking about with the other, those conversions that you probably already know. You know, the 1 meter is 1,000 uh, millimeters and so on. So 5.5 inches. So this is the same problem, we're just doing it with a couple more steps. 2.54 centimeters, one inch times. So instead of doing this, we're going to use those two. So we want to cancel out centimeters, right? So down here, and you guys can always help me with this. So what do we have now? So we've canceled out what? Here, inches. Right here, we've canceled out centimeters. So do we want it in meters? No. No. So what do we want it in? millimeters, right? So what are we going to multiply this by? So what's going to be on the bottom, unit-wise? One meter. Meters. Yeah, and in this case, one meter. On the top? 1,000 millimeters. So meters now cancel, and let's see if we get the same answer. Okay. So 5.5 times 2.54 times 1,000 divided by 1. And I got 139.7 millimeters. 
And of course, again, that's got too many sig figs. So let's do this time in scientific notation. Okay? When we do that, we want two sig figs, 1.4 times 10 squared millimeters. Either way is the correct answer. Okay? So you can see you can do these a number of ways. Just use whatever steps that you can remember. Okay. Are there any questions on this particular problem? Makes sense. So you understand which ones will be given and which ones you'll have to. Okay, that's the most. That's probably one of the more important things you can know. Okay, obviously. Can I kill it? Are we good?